trying to catch a lander. I'm done. <coughs> this big guy here is the Quadro from John Kreiderman, a Canadian pura maker. <sighs> Jesus, I run too much. Uh, it's just a very nice one. Let's see for the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> So stupid, I know. Let me be a kid. All right, so again, this one, <coughs> this quadro blade is the quadro in Spanish. Quadro. Uh, for blade is really nice. It's very big. The wings are very wide, so it, for me it's hard to to throw it unless it's with a full grip which doesn't make me, uh, doesn't give me too much spin. So I need to wet my hand somehow and do a mix between a pinch and a pistol grip, whatever. <coughs> so uh, it's a very nice boomerang. It's beautiful around, but it needs pretty much no wind because it's extremely sensitive to wind any wind gust, any change of wind, any stronger wind is at least too sensitive to my taste. It's too hard. 
I, I suffered too much to, to catch this like 10 times since I have it. And it's, it's nice, it's cool for no wind, as I say. If the wind is going above 8 kilometers per hour, it's going to be a nightmare. So, it's pretty cool. Calls a lot of attention from people passing by because it's huge, right? And, and, and also, I'm trying to hold it still. It's too windy. But again, um, another problem. It's a good thing, it's a good characteristic of this boomerang, but it's also a problem. It spins a lot. It has to spin or else it's gonna just stall too early. So you need to give a lot of power to make it spin a lot. And the problem is that if it's not coming right above you on a small uh, uh, hovering, you know, so it's like trying to catch a blender and, and I think it's kind of dangerous. So this is definitely not for beginners, intermediate, like I can consider myself maybe whatever, I don't know. But it's something to throw only once in a while, honestly. It's beautiful, but it's can be a little bit dangerous. Again, good catch is uh from Joe Kreiderman made in 